Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of Voice Bootcamp in UC Collaboration. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to configure CVP server as an IP IVR for UCCE. Now, the CVP server is installed on a separate server, 55 for example. Uh, we're going to log into that server from the same server as ICM. Simply go to the IP address of Fifty two nine four four three OAMP Now you have to make sure the CVP server is up and running. So you go to system menu, you may you, uh, you have to enable the compatibility mode, i.e. browser can cause some problem. And of course, we're going to have to re log in. So, here you'll see both uh, call server VXML servers are up. What we want to do is customize it by going to call server. Now if I go back to my network VRU, this is related to CVP, you will find the network VRU right uh, here, network VRU. We have created a network VRU for CVP and with a label 49999, so 4, 5, uh, 4, 4 plus 4 nines. So under ICM, we need to make sure that our maximum length of DNIS is 5 digit otherwise it causes a problem and it's hard to detect and then in the SIP control we're going we're gonna to create a static route the static route basically says that if the SIP if the CVP server receives a call with 49995 uh, digit with a uh, follow any number after that I want the calls to go to this IP address which is the IP address of your uh, UCC ESA VXML gateway so I'm going to change that 4999 I will change it to 103 253 so that is the IP address my uh, one of my VXML gateway and then any call starting with 40 which is the extension of